Only estimated to own the Treasury around £500 million. That's enough to fund the NHS for just one day. So when Labour hit the airwaves to insist farmers are paying their part to fund infrastructure and hospitals, you have to wonder what the hell they're talking about. The other thing I would say is this. I mean, I grew up in a rural area. I know firsthand that rural areas, farming communities, they do need yep. the investment that we put in the budget into their hospitals, into their schools, into housing near where they are so their families can live. OK, so what's the real reason for the attack on farmers then? Because I find it hard to believe it's actually about the money. After all, they're giving the same amount away, around £500 million, to dozens of farms all around the world through the outrageous foreign aid budget. That includes for projects in Brazil, which has the world's 11th largest GDP. And at the same time, America's largest farmland owner, Bill Gates, pictured here, was visiting Downing Street a few days before the budget. The same budget that drops the inheritance tax bombshell on farmers. Number 10, by the way, still won't confirm what Mr Gates was doing at Downing Street or what the visit was for. Maybe the PM needed some help fixing his computer, who knows. But what's really interesting is this tweet from Sir Keir Starmer yesterday. Take a look. Showing he's been sitting down with the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, telling Britain that the only way to secure growth and create wealth is working with private mega wealth funds such as BlackRock. And if you don't know about BlackRock and how they operate, let me tell you a little bit about them. They're the world's largest asset manager with over eight and a half trillion dollars in assets. They have their fingers in every pie you can think of, big pharma, big tech, farming, agriculture, government contracts, and even recently deals with Zelensky to rebuild Ukraine. Isn't that interesting? Their power is so huge that most of all the woke DEI quotes as you see at companies all around the world almost certainly lead back to CEO Larry Fink and his company, BlackRock. Here's the boss boasting about it himself. Leaders are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. You have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock we are forcing behaviors. What we are doing internally is if you don't achieve these levels of impact, your compensation could be impacted, okay? You have to force behaviors. And if you don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race or just any way you want to say the composition of your team, you're going to be impacted. Force behaviors, you heard that? So Labour has a track record of teaming up with private multinationals to fund its spending plans. The British public remembers all too well PFIs, the private finance initiatives, through which the UK ended up paying absolutely extortionate amounts to private contractors that designed built, financed or operated public services such as prisons, schools and infamously hospitals before handing them back to the state, often in very poor condition. So when Sir Keir Starmer says the only way to create wealth and growth is by teaming up with the likes of BlackRock and the like, just remember one thing. BlackRock are all about making money and lots of it. They are immensely powerful. Their potential influence on democratically elected governments is huge. And I'll say this now, there's no way of knowing for certain what impacts they might have on government policy. But if you happen to see in the years to come that BlackRock starts snapping up thousands of acres of British farmland when families are forced to sell through inheritance tax rates, don't be surprised. Let's get the thoughts now of my panel. Former Labour Minister.